Hello and welcome. I'm Gail Thompson. Welcome to the Darby Creek Diaries. Today we're going to feature multi-layering stamps from Kitchen Sink Stamps. The stamps are absolutely gorgeous and the most realistic you'll ever see. And the owner Maria is a very kind and generous lady and she has been so helpful to me. And I just want to give her a shout out and thank her for sponsoring this hop. Since Ohio weather is anything but beachy right now, I chose to dream and do the seashells set. I won't be saying that very many times in a row. Her sets are very intricate, but they have detailed instructions with step outs. Uh, you can either go the darkest first or the lightest first. She has color charts. She has the colored index sheet that makes it a lot easier to line up those stamps and you can kind of just swivel it on there and it'll show you exactly how to do it. She also has the uh, ink suggestions for each stamp and then she also has, this is amazing to me, the color substitution list. So she has put an enormous amount of time and effort in this and it's so appreciative. We're also appreciative. Thank you, Maria. You did a great job. Now the seashell set, I said it again. I was pretty good, huh? Um, comes with these directions and this index sheet. Now I was lining up my stamp with the index sheet and I accidentally got it stuck on the printed side, the side that had the actual ink on it. And look, I made a boo-boo. Don't do that. See where I got the, the stamp took some of the color off. Make sure you work from the underneath. Um, but live and learn. It was just one of a few things that went awry today, but all's well that ends well. I have all the links below, a link to kitchen sinks and for the supplies. I took some Hero Arts uh, paper and stamped out the bubbles background just with Versamark ink and just made it tone on tone. And then I cut it out with a cat scrappiness square die. And now since my stamps are kind of dirty and I don't trust it, I'm just laying down a piece of trash acetate so that I can line up my stamps so it'll go right in the middle of what's going to be a shaker card. I hadn't made a shaker card in a while and I thought it might be fun. And then I thought, well, since we're doing beaches, I thought maybe sand would be a good thing to shake. And so I'm just not, this is not one of the layering stamps. This is a gift with purchase. It was a nice little surprise and it's just a, a one layer stamp, but it went so well with my stamp set, I thought I would use it as well. Now I'm just going to, I took off all the other stuff and I'm just going to do my actual card base with my sentiment there on my Misty, which is probably the best tool to use for this. I think it's the easiest for many different ways of layering, but you know, in this case, I'm not layering, but I will in a minute. Now I have my first layer of the um, sand dollar and the starfish. So I'm stamping off Gina K Peach Bellini ink so that I'm using a second generation. Now I was first in the bottom corner and now I am going to be moving it up to the six and three quarter mark. Not that it matters because I'm going to cut these out anyway. Uh, and I'm just, I just wanted, I don't have very many inks that go together well. I do other techniques. I don't do so much with um, just straight dye inks. So then I shove it clear up in the corner so I can do another one less set because it's still in the perfect place. And now I'm going to put on the second generation. And it's not really hard to do. I'm going to show you real up close. The See how there are three uh, dashes there at the bottom on the starfish? Just with this, you can line it up with that. And it's perfectly aligned, although I never trust myself the first time. And now we're going to go to the starfish and the starfish has like a little corner where it's tipped up kind of like it's waving there on the left and so that's what i'm going to line this up with this is our second layer and it takes me a minute but i find it 
and then I mess around with it for a little bit, you know, and I'm sorry about my head being in the way, but you do kind of have to get over it. And when I stamp, um, I laugh because it looks like I'm doing CPR sometimes because my table has a little dip in the middle. And so it's a banquet table, but it just has that little dip. I've noticed that that can affect my tremor too. If I use the Fiskars tremor, that's a little bit flexible. You know, it's funny that dips in the middle, but things still roll off the edge. I just didn't think that was possible. So now we're sliding the paper up and we're going to work on row two. I just can't get over. This is just the second layer and look how realistic it is. And now I'm going to slide it clear up to the corner and we're going to do row three. See, here I go doing the CPR again, especially with light colors. By the way, this was Gina Kay's Peach Bellini again, only I didn't do second generation, I did first generation. And I'm going to go ahead and shoot it with a little bit of heat just to make sure the ink's dry. Um, it just makes for a crisper image. Here are the two inks I used. Uh, so I did the first two in Gina K, and this last one, I'm gonna to try to find a comparable color because that was in a kit. So here's our little starfish and we've got our little waving hand down there. It's in the lower corner this time. And I realize that I am making a massive boo-boo and I am going to line it up fine. That's not the problem. The problem is that I'm going to have my stamps too low and I won't be able to move my paper, but I don't realize that until a little bit later. So I'm lining up again the sand dollar and this one's pretty straightforward. It actually just has lines that you can follow. So I'm gonna pick up the stamps and we're gonna get cracking. Right now I'm just uh, fat and sassy thinking I'm just so brilliant and everything's finally going my way, but things will change, they always do. I do like how this does turn out though. It just gives it, a, I mean, once I get it closer, you'll be able to tell. And with other colors, you'll be able to tell. Whoops! That's when I push the paper up and I go, oh, so now that means all of it is off. So I will have to hand place my next four. Fortunately, I'm not doing dozens or I would cry. So I'm just going to line it up again. And you see, it doesn't really take that much time. And then I already got the starfish lined up. We're going to pick it up and we're going to rock and roll. Don't forget there is a, going to be a giveaway for a $25 gift card from Kitchen Sink Stamps. And the information will be down in the description box. It's going to be a raffle copter drawing. I don't have the, all the information right now, but it will be in the description box. And make sure you enter because these really are beautiful stamps. Now look at that. I mean, I've never seen another company that could get things that realistic. Just beautiful. So now I thought, well, let's keep going with the, the sand thing here that I'm gonna be doing. So I got some texture paste out and I don't need a whole lot. And I'm just going to, I shut the jar on that right away because boy, that dries like concrete. And I'm just putting in some sand, real sand, the cheap stuff is, you know, you just can get at the beach or wherever. I actually got it off the floor of work because, well, not clear on the floor. It was on a skid, but some of it was on the floor, but I didn't get that. I have clean sand. Um, at work, I work at Lowe's. I'm a kitchen designer and I just only needed a couple tablespoons and I didn't want to buy a big old bag. So now I'm going to spread this on and it's kind of, this is a little bit drier, so it is a little harder to spread, especially since the sand's in there. But I'm just texturing it up a little bit here in a second and just putting a little, making it so it's not quite flat. And I'm going to go ahead and let that dry. 
In order to save some time, I layered a piece of acetate on the back part of the blue card, and then two layers of foam tape, and my staker bits and sand, and now I'm layering a second uh, piece of acetate just to make sure that the sand is sealed in. Nobody wants to open up something and have the sand all fall out. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put layer this onto the front of my card base and have it right side up, which would be nice, and put it all together. Doesn't that just remind you of a beach? Then, unfortunately, off camera, I tore the sides because I didn't want just straight paper white edges. And then I took some Distress Ink, and I don't exactly remember what color it was, but it doesn't matter. Any kind of a tanny thing. I think, oh, tea dye. And I just kind of rubbed it on it a little bit just to knock off the white edges. And then I spent a lot of time fiddling around. I cut out all of those um, other shells. I fussy cut them and then I made sure that I took the tea dye or not tea dye, the Gina K and went around the edges because I don't like white edges. I just think it looks better not to have them. And I spent so much time messing around with it that I just decided to go, ta-da, here's the card. I can't, I can agonize over where those stupid little gems go forever. So I added a little bit of um, Nouveau Glimmer on the shells and I added just all kinds of fun shells and all of that will be linked below. And, and I dumped my sand in and built that background up because I didn't want to be a, you know, a hop hog. Nobody likes a hop hog. So I didn't want to take too long, but you know, I just backed it up with a couple layers of foam tape. So here's the finished card. I hope you enjoyed the, this uh, project and that you'll click like and subscribe and come back to see me and visit Kitchen Sink Stamps. They're really gorgeous and Maria is a, just a really great lady. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share if you like what you see. I really appreciate the time that you spend with me and I'm so glad you joined us on the hop. I will leave a couple of videos below that I think might interest you. I hope you have a great week and that you'll have time to craft. You'll come back and see me and take care. Bye-bye.